Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to Project Zomboid and our Hydrocraft Cabin Challenge. We are picking up here a few days in game after our last episode. Unfortunately, uh, this is the second time I've recorded this episode. Um, the first time something went wrong with recording and uh, it, it, uh, it stopped. So <laughs> I only have like a few minutes recorded from that. Uh, but when I spawned in, I'll just let you know, there was a zombie in the cabin, and uh, I'm not really sure why that that, that was. Uh, I have done some um, changes to the map files, because in our Season 5, uh, our regular season playthrough, uh, we are just moving uh, into New Denver, and I had to, uh, uh, there were some issues with the workshop map, I had to manually install that stuff. Uh, so it did change some of the files, the map files, but I didn't think it would affect anything up here in West Point. Uh, so I'm not really sure why there was a zombie, if it was related to that or not. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of blood underneath the window here. Uh, and as you can see, I did finish getting all the clay we needed to make a kiln. So we have a kiln here now, which is very nice. Uh, I made uh, some charcoal out of the zombie body there. Just uh, go over, we also made a... Uh, uh, campfire down there and uh, we did end up testing out the teapot uh, the clay teapot you can see here uh, we did test that out you can boil water in there uh, so that is good we've got some fresh water in our teapot now and uh, only other thing that we did uh, when I thought I was recording was we uh, did more foraging so as you can see we got a lot of uh, Good items here in our chest, our foraging chest. More bugs, more uh, poop, more straw, all that kind of stuff. We got a bunch more herbs in here as well, so we should be able to make quite a bit, uh, quite a few more poultices, I should say. Uh, so we're going to leave that stuff in there for now. We found a lot of black sage, which uh, is a mild pain reliever, so that's nice. Uh, what else did we do? Didn't really do anything else. It was pretty much just the kiln and um, doing foraging. So, and making the campfire, I guess, and boiling water. So we know that works. So water is pretty much sorted now that we can boil it. Very lucky that we found that uh, pottery uh, working textbook uh, in our spawn house. That, that saved us as far as the water goes. And the last thing that happened off camera was there was a helicopter uh, that flew over I had run down to the uh, to the road down there and I uh, was doing some foraging and a helicopter flew by overhead along with a airplane so we're gonna just head back down there it's been about about not quite 24 hours since that event we're gonna go see if anyone has um, wandered up to that helicopter noise. Uh, right now just have the raw axe out as a weapon. Doesn't have very much condition left. So if we can forge up a uh, another branch, I maybe should have made a weapon before we left the, the cabin, but if we can forge up another branch and turn that into a quarter staff. Use that as a weapon. But yeah, just pretty much want to see if there's any zombies out have wandered up here. From that helicopter. Get some some uh, gear off of them. Hopefully, what we're hoping for, I think, is a pair of binoculars so we can do hunting. Because uh, we can make our, uh, or we can hunt with just spears, and we can make spears pretty easily. So, doesn't look like there's anyone here, though. Unfortunately, and this is our border. This, these two roads here. So I shouldn't cross them at all. Keep in uh, keep in uh, line with the rules of the challenge, and I guess uh, I have to apologize, guys. I guess uh, I didn't. I kind of uh, strayed from the rules at the beginning of this challenge uh, back in part one because I, apparently I wasn't supposed to sleep in West Point. I was supposed to just head directly up here, and we did spend one night down in West Point. So that was my bad. Oh, oh, there is a zombie. There are zombies there. Can they hear us? 
Oh. Oh, there is some. Oh, very good. Okay, we need to get our. Uh, let's go back and grab our alarm clock, guys. Do we have an alarm clock? For some reason, I think we do. Maybe we don't, though. Oh, there's a zombie there. Nice. Alright, come over here. You hear me? Can I run on the road? I can run on the road, right? Come on. I just can't cross the road. Yes, there we go. I, I don't think that's cheating. The road is our boundary, so we can go on the road. <laughs> please, please tell me that's allowed. Uh, we've got an empty bottle. Okay, we're thirsty. Uh, reduce strength. Uh, I don't have any food on me, though. Okay, hopefully we can kill this guy. We're just going to try and push him over. Save our axe. I only cut down one tree. Nice. And it uh, used up almost all the durability on this axe. Ah, just close. Okay, well, we'll take the clothes. And uh, we should bring the body back. It's charcoal, too. I think. Might be a good idea. Okay, well, at least, um... I don't know. It could be good, it could be bad. Having the zombies coming up. Let's grab the corpse. We'll bring him back. Turn him into charcoal in our kiln. Uh, so I'll just edit this out. Uh, this walk back in, because it's going to take a little bit of time since we're weighted down so much. So we'll be back uh, in a couple seconds, guys. Okay, now we're back. That did take a little bit of time. So we gotta fill up our water, get something to eat. Uh, we might wanna just rest and go back in the morning. Okay, so we don't have an alarm clock, but we do have uh, the walkie-talkie. And uh, there were actually two walkie-talkies on uh, the other zombie that had spawned in here. So we do have that. Uh, first, let's turn this into a charcoal. Uh, what am I missing? What am I missing here? Um, matches, I guess. I guess I used up the matches. Right, let's grab our striker. We have a couple magnesium strikers in here. Nope, nope, not that. That's what I want. Not the nail gun ammo. So kiln, make charcoal. Go ahead and do that. How much of that is it gonna use? Not much. Okay, that's good to know. But that magnesium striker is gonna last a while. Let's keep that in our backpack. So we've got two bags of charcoal, that's good. Let's take this 
walkie talkie down with us. I might rest for uh, an hour or two. Uh, we should probably make ourselves an actual weapon. So I think we have some branches in here, yep. Yeah. Uh, so we can make a spear or a quarter staff. Let's make a quarter staff. So we can use that instead of our axe. Equip that in both hands. Once we put this axe away. There we go. Good. Fill up our bottle. Excellent. Uh, we are hungry, so let's dig into some berries. Or maybe even just some grape leaves. Eating leaves, wow. How fun. Uh, and you can see we, we're, at, we're at a severely depressed mood right now, so... Uh, we do have a couple items that are rotting, but I don't want to add to our depression. I'm not sure how we're going to get rid of it, to be honest. Unless we find maybe a magazine or some papers on zombies. Some newspapers. Okay, come on. It's taking a long time. Oh, another uh, couple things that we did off camera. Uh, we leveled up our foraging to level four, and we're, or to level three, sorry, and we're almost up to level four. Another 150 XP to go there, and I did start reading our Carpentry for Beginners book. Uh, so that should be, you, sh you guys should be caught up now on <laughs> what, what, what was missed in between. It sucks too. So I got pretty excited when I found out that uh, we could boil water. So that's too bad, I don't have that that filmed. And come on, let's get full here. Or at least get rid of this peckish noodle. There we go. We're gonna be pooping green, eating all those leaves. Alright, let's, um, all right, so we're not that tired, we could probably head out. So we got this walkie-talkie, right? So my plan is to just throw this on the ground by the road, turn it on. Or just have it on while uh, we're holding it. Draw the zombies towards us. And then uh, kill them with our quarterstaff. Get some get some gear off of them. Hopefully, anyway, that's the plan. Wish the cabin was a little bit closer to the the road. Okay, here we are at the road. We are at eight days, eight and a half, or eight and a quarter days survived. Let's run down to the corner here. See if hopefully the zombies are still down here. Hopefully they haven't wandered away. They should be here. What do you think the chances of us finding a set of binoculars are? Alright, looks like they have moved. We should just be keeping this walkie-talkie on us all the time. At all times. Are they still in that field? I don't know, did they move on? Mm, we might have missed our opportunity, guys. Alright, well let's get this walkie-talkie out. Equip that primary. Turn it on. Crank up the volume. Come on, someone hear this. Ok, 
Can I put it down on the ground? It won't stay on. Shit, right? It's not making noises. Alright, well, let's do some foraging. Well, while that's sitting there. Another skill point. So we should have a couple here. Well, we got five. Nice. Alright, let's check the battery on this. primary again. Yeah, I think we missed our opportunity for the zombies, unfortunately. They should still be in the area, though. Oh, it does turn off. Okay. Battery's down to 99%. Alright, let's put that... Uh, we'll just keep it in our main inventory. It takes a lot to unpack. Damn. I think we missed our opportunity to get some gear. I don't see anyone. Damn, cause there was like there's like three or four of them, weren't there? Okay. Too bad. More berries, more birch uh, bark. Okay, we can make uh, a couple birch bark cups. Keep storing more water. Although it's not uh, a huge necessity right now. Now we know we can boil water. Another chip stone, good. We need one more. Then we can make our saw. Let's put the plantain in there. Uh, the sage. And start heading back. Back home. Wow, we weren't even gone that long. We wandered away already. Very unfortunate. Alright, let's get some more berries. I think the white berries used to be poisonous before they added in the herbalist trait. They don't seem to be anymore. Eat them if you got them. That's all. Okay, well, we're just peckish. So, binoculars would be good. Uh, magazines and newspapers so we can get rid of this depression. Although, I don't know. Find a way to forget reality. I don't know what this exactly affects. Do you guys know? Does it, does it make you tired more quickly? That would probably make sense. It should just be up here. Yep, there it is. Good. Let's just get to sleep. Or I'll drop off this water. Or fill up this water. Fill up birch bark cap. And another one. And in with our other water. Go to sleep and I'll drop off all our forged items in the morning. Alright, sleep.
There we go, everything's been dropped off. Just picking up some twine, because I think we need that to make our bone saw. Or a stone saw, I keep calling it a bone saw. Alright, stone saw. Now yeah, we need some twine, three chip stones. I've got two right now, and then a tree branch. Alright, let's pick up a tree branch too then. We'll just keep this stuff in our golf bag backpack. So we'll make one right away. And let's head out, do some more foraging. Well, we'll go back to the road sometime. Maybe we'll give it a few days. Or maybe we'll get another meta noise to draw them up here. All right, nothing there. Oh, wait, wrong inventory. Probably is something here. Yep. And let's open up our skills, because foraging is very close here to leveling up. Within 15 XP. So let's get that done today. There we go. Level 4. Level that up. Sprinting is also very close to leveling up. So we'll do that. Uh, maybe next episode will be done. Might be done today. Right, do some more foraging. What else are we finding? More birch bark, make another cup. Some mushrooms, okay, that's good. If we make a uh, spear, we can make uh, mushrooms on a stick, and that'll be a good uh, source of food. More elderberries. Do some foraging up on this end of the lake. Lots of stuff. Okay, that's full or empty. Uh, eat some arrowwood berries. Let's see here. Cooking's going to take a while to get up. Uh, we've got the first 100 XP already for forging level 5. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good that we've got the uh, the extra boost from the uh, fast learner trait. I'll just make everything that much faster. Nothing there. Start looping our way back down towards the cabin. There we go, another skill point. We're gonna have more than enough skill points to uh, level stuff up. Probably won't be able to keep up with the uh, the amount of skill points we're gonna get. Seems to be the case whenever you take the uh, fast learner. There's a scream. I don't know if that's gonna draw anyone up here. I'm kind of hoping to get zombies up here. Make another birch bark cup. Medicinal herbs in the backpack. Eat some grape leaves. Uh, actually, we shouldn't be eating grape leaves. We should be eating the berries. Stuff that's gonna go rotten first. Keep walking down here. Uh, lemongrass, put that away. Rose hips are decent too, it's three hunger. More worms, good. It's chamomile. Should be able to make like chamomile tea. Some comfrey. More poop, more snails. Some feathers, okay. Garlic. Let's get over to the water. We'll walk past the house here. Oh, perfect timing. 
Good call on moving over. All right, so we'll put our, I'm putting all of our poison stuff in this wood pile. I don't think I mentioned that. Some holly and elderberries. It was a suggestion from a viewer. Instead of just dumping them on the ground. Keep eating berries. Side. Drop a bunch of stuff off. Grass. Uh, beetles, butterflies, blue jay feathers. All that stuff. A lot of stuff we can't use as far as I know. Oh, um, maybe we should be making a pot. We can see if we can make a um, bug stew, or is that only with a metal pot? Stew. Make a pot of bug stew. It looks like it's just... Pot of stew, make bug stew. Yeah, it looks like it's just the, uh, the metal pot. Okay, so it looks like that's not an option. That would have been cool, though, to uh, be able to make bug stew. Okay, put all that stuff in. All that. Which is left here. A few things. Still got power. Hasn't left us yet. Worms. The rest of this should be food. Uh, the mushrooms. Hmm, should probably keep that on us. I don't want that going rotten. Well, we'll put it in there, I'll just remember. Try and remember to pick it back up again. All that put away. Uh, a little bit of time left here. Let's continue reading some of our carpentry book after I put those birch cups away. Oh, we should fill that up first. Appears to be water still. Yep. Where we can get a good amount stored. And oh, I still have all this stuff too. All the medicinal stuff. A couple more things of common mallow, lots of lemongrass, which isn't really going to be coming in handy. Soothe bouts of food poisoning. The iron gut should help us out with that. Garlic. Let's uh, get a few more pages read in our carpentry book. Maybe get up to page 200. Or we'll just, we'll just finish it up. It'll be a late night. There we go. So we now have carpentry for beginners read, giving us the boost for levels, or the next level, level two, plus our 75% boost. Uh, so we've got, um, what is it here? Multiplier of three plus a 75% boost plus the boost from the um, fast learner. Toss a XP or a uh, skill point into our sprinting. Get that leveled up. Let's go to sleep here. Good. Do some more eating. Never-ending task. And you're only eating two hunger at a time. Come on. Go down hunger. There we go. A belly full of berries. Let's do one last foraging and then I think we'll end this episode. Go out here. We'll see what our foraging skill gets up to. Oh yeah, 
it's going a bit slower now. We've gone past the easy part. Okay, more sage, ginseng, lemongrass, mole crickets, acorns, more comfrey, a few bones. Yeah. Sage with that in there. Okay, guys. I guess that'll do it for another episode. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We are at 10 days, 10 hours survived. Coming up on our first two weeks, our first half month. Things are going well. In good health. We got lots of food. We got our water situation sorted out. Leave me some comments below if you have any suggestions. And uh, yeah, there, there are a few other... Uh, well, we got two other Project Zomboid series currently in the works on the channel. A uh, Season 5 with the Hydrocraft mod and uh, all the community maps. Uh, so go check that out. And uh, what else we have? We have the Hardcore Survival series, which is uh, just plain Jane Hardcore Survival. No mods, no extra maps, just West Point, Valley Station, and Muldra. So if either of those sound interesting, head over to the main page. Check out the playlist for those. And until next time. I'll talk to you all later. Uh -huh.